This is the teaching video for 10.5. Um, our learning target is going to be to find the surface area of pyramids. And we're going to be dealing with two types of pyramids. One is a pyramid that looks like this. It has a square base. It sits on a square. And so you'll need to find the area of that square. And then because it's a square, it has four sides. When something has four sides, it's going to have four walls to the pyramid. Okay? So you'll have four triangles and one square or parallelogram. Now the other one we'll deal with is a triangle. I don't have a model of it, but it has a triangle on the bottom. And a triangle has three sides. And when you have three sides, then your pyramid will have three sides. So on that one, you'll have three sides that are a triangle, and then the base is also a triangle. So you just have to find the area of all those uh, different triangles. Okay, so here's what I have here. I have a couple pictures. Not great artists, but we'll, they should work. Um, this is a square pyramid. And I'm going to draw right here is what it sits on. Okay? That's what it sits on. That's its square. And this one is a 7 by 7. And you know when, you, when you're when you figuring out the area of a square, it's just length times width, um, 7 times 7, so 49, all right? So that one's pretty easy. But then we also have these four sides that are each triangular. So we need to find the area of a triangle. <clears throat> so like here is one of the triangles. And then it does give me this height of the triangle. Um, so the base of it is the 7, and the height of the triangle is 9. Now because it's a, a square in the bottom, each base is going to be 7, and the height is going to be the same. So once you find this triangle for one of them, you've gotten all four sides. It's the same. So you take this 1 times 4, add it to your base, and you'll be good to go. So for this, a square pyramid, you're going to need, you're going to find the area of four triangles and one parallelogram. So I was right down here. One triangle, which would be this, another triangle this side, another triangle this back side, and another triangle that back side. And then the base it sits on is your parallelogram. Okay? So four triangles and a parallelogram. We'll solve this one in just a second. Let's go to the triangle. The base, this triangle here, like that, there's my base triangle. It's a 4 by 4 by 4. So it's an equilateral triangle. Every side is equal. That makes it really nice. Um, now it does give me a height here of that base triangle. There's the height of the base triangle, 3.5. And so I can figure out that triangle based on the base of 4 and the height of 3.5. Okay. Now, on this one we have, because it's a triangle, we have three triangle sides. So here's one, here's another one over here, and there's another one behind there. Um, and because this triangle here is a 4 by 4 by 4, it's the same. Every side is going to be the same. And it gives us the height here of 5. So every triangle on this triangular pyramid is going to be a 5 by 4. 4 is your base, 5 is your height. And then you, you, know, you have to divide it by 2 or times it by half. But we'll do that in a second. So in terms of a triangular pyramid, you're going to have a triangle base. We're going to have three triangles. So what we got to do is we have to find the area of four different triangles. Side, 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 and then this triangle is, I put a little B here just saying it's the base. It's what it sits on, okay? I usually start with that one. All right. So that kind of gives you an idea of a triangular prism and a square prism. Now, these all have numbers, so we're going to find the surface area of each one of those. This will be your practice uh, watching this, and then we have some guided practice, and then also some independent practice. Okay. So let's do the square pyramid first. Um, 
I know with a square pyramid, I'm going to have four triangles. One triangle, two triangle, three triangle, four triangle. And then I'm also going to have one parallelogram. The cool thing about this that's different from the uh, triangular prism or the a rectangular prism is once I get one triangle, these are all going to be the same. Okay? So once I get one, I just times it by four, and I have this area. I have this, all these together, and then I'll add it to this. Okay. So if we're looking at this, this shape over here, I'm going to get the base first. It's a square parallelogram, seven by seven. Seven times seven is forty-nine, and its unit is centimeters squared. Forty-nine centimeters squared. Okay. Save that for putting it together with all these. Now I'm going to get the one side. I know I got four sides. I'm going to get one of them. The triangle is a base of seven and a height of nine. So area equals one half times base times height. Area equals one half times seven times nine. Now seven times nine is sixty-three times one half will give me my area, and one half of sixty-three is 31.5. So 31.5 centimeters squared, that is one triangle. All of these triangles have the same base and the same height. So it's each one of them is going to be 31.5 centimeters. So I'm going to find this by going 31.5 times 4. 2, 6, Okay, so that is 126. So these four together is 126 centimeters squared, but I can't forget to add my base to it, plus 49 centimeters squared. When I add that to it, it's five, six, seven, 175 centimeters squared. So I wrote down what I needed, I found my parallelogram, and then I found my triangle, which is the same for all. All right, and total 175. So that's how you find a square pyramid, uh, the surface area. All right, not too bad. A triangular one, you, you need one less of these numbers, but they're all triangles. They're not all the same triangle. They're all triangles, though. So you use that formula, one-half times base times height. Okay? Let me erase this, and we will do the triangular pyramid. So with a triangular pyramid, I have four triangles. One triangle, two triangle, three triangle, and four triangle. And this one is the base triangle. Now, because this base triangle is equilateral, it's 4 by 4 by 4, I know that each of the side triangles are going to be the exact same. It's going to be a 4 by whatever the height is, and in this case, it's a 5. So these actually will be all the same. Once we get 1, we'll times it by 3, and we'll have this total over here. Okay? The, this one's different. So... Let's start with this one here, the base triangle, which I see it's 4, and then it gives me the height of the base one is 3.5. So area equals 1 half times 4 times 3.5. And if I do that, area equals 1 half, well, 1 half of 4 is 2 times 3.5. And 3.5 times 2 is 7. So my area for my base is 7 meters squared. Now this is not the same for all these because there's a different height. Let's do that now. So for the one of the side triangles, its area equals 1 half times the base of it is 4 and the height of it is 5. Okay. 
So area equals a half of 4 is 2 times 5, and area equals 5 times 2 is 10. So this is 10 meters squared. Now, because this is 10 meters squared, this next one over here is base of 4 with a height of 5. Same exact thing. 10 meters squared, 10 meters squared. So I do 10 times 3, or I just add these up, 30 meters squared, but then I gotta add my base. And I get a total of 37 meters squared. That is the surface area for this one. Okay? So that gives you an idea of finding the surface area for a uh, square pyramid and a triangular pyramid. So watch the Watch the guided practice, open your book, go with, and follow, follow along with me as I do the problems, and uh, based on what you've learned in this video and what you see me do through the guided practice, you should be able to understand and uh, be able to reach this learning target that says that you can find the surface area of a pyramid. All right, let me know uh, if you have questions as you're going through this learning and working through the problem.